Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my first shop my stash video of 2022. So it's going to be structured slightly differently than normally because normally at this point I show you all the products I was using and then we put them away and get new things. But just because it's the start of a new year, I'm doing stuff for Valentine's Day. I'm just going to go straight into the drawers, pick out what we're picking for Valentine's Day. And if I was using something, I'll mention it. So let's get on into that. Okay, so my first drawer is my primers, powders, concealers and foundations. So I'm project planning, obviously. So for concealer, I'm probably going to pull in. See, I'm after actually working on them all. So I want to pull in this one here from NYX, the NYX Born to Glow in the shade. I think it's in the shade Vanilla or is it something ivory? Where? Oh yeah, light ivory. Can you see that? I can't actually see what you're seeing. So this is the one that I want to pull in. I only got this in June or July of 2021. All of my concealers, the oldest is January 21 and the rest is July and August 2021. So what has helped me to use these up is actually cycling through rather than project panning, which is unusual for me. But yeah, I'm going to pull this in. And then in terms of over Christmas, I actually was just cycling through. For foundation, I was, well, actually I was predominantly using the NYX Hydro or the Urban Decay Hydromaniac one, but I think I'm going to pull in just to be like, where is the one that I wanted to, I wanted to pull in this Colourpop Pretty Fresh. And I kind of want to pull this one in, like I'm stuck between these three. I got these two from Ruth and I bought this one myself. It's in the shade Fair W from Colourpop. I don't know how to decide. I want to do this because I saw, was it Rebecca Morgan Project Planning? Project Planning it, someone's Project Planning it right now. So I kind of want to pull that one in. And then I don't want to overdo it because I am panning one. I might put in this BB cream as well. And if I use anything else, I'll just show you the next time. Then for primers, I actually have this one up on top because I haven't used it yet. And I got it from e.l.f. on their website. Can you see? I don't even know what you can see. My phone is on a different tripod, so I can't see what you're seeing. So yeah, I'm going to pull this one in for sure because I want to use it and I haven't used it yet. Then I'm like, well, I pull this one in, but are they not similar in they're four I think I'll just pull this one in because I want to I don't want to overdo it like last year I was overdoing it so yeah that's what we'll do from this drawer on to the next one. Oh no powder 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 no I'm using you know what I haven't pulled in in a while actually this one so this one here from the balm, the Sexy Mama. I haven't used this one in a little while because I was really focusing on my RCMA one at the end of the year to pan it. So I think I'm going to pull this one in. I like the powder, the pressed powder I got from Elaine. But aside from these two pressed translucent one, I just have banana. So I don't actually have any other pressed powder. My objective was to finish a few loose ones before getting another one. But yeah, I want to roll this one in. Now, next drawer. Drawer number two. Number two. So I want to pull in this face palette this time. I think this is probably going to be overwhelming, but this is the Tarte Blush Bazaar from 2017 that I got from Porik. It took me two years to pan this. Two. I got rid of these two highlighters because I kept using them and I found them quite bad because they'd accentuate texture and they were dry and gritty. Then the other blush, I just had a duplicate, so I got rid of it. But anyway, I want to use this. I find that all of them are buildable, bar this one, it's extremely pigmented. So I want to get use out of it. So I'm going to pull that in. And then the other thing I want to pull in is this pigment. I need to be more strict. So I'm going to roll in one pigment, I think, per go. This one is Old Gold from MAC, I think. I tried pressing it into an eyeshadow and it did not work. It just poofed everywhere. So I'm going to pull this in as a pigment so that I can get use out of it because it's such a beautiful shade. I swatch everything at the end and I want to pull in one Super Shock that will go with my like panning situation. Well, since it's coming up to Valentine's Day, maybe I'll pull in one of my pinky ones. I have two of these. I really like Frog. I kind of use that one anyway. What's this one? Okay, so we have three here and I don't want to bring in three because I have loads of eyeshadows. So they look similar enough, don't they? Set to stun, Twitter painted, and light up. I know light up is really pigmented. I might pull in just this one here from Colourpop in set to stun, and we shall swatch it later. Later. 
So that's enough, I think, for there. That's more than I normally do. Here is brows and mascara and um, primers, eyeshadow primers. So I don't need to pull in anything here because I only wear one mascara at a time and I am actually only have two eyebrow pencils and I'm organically using them at the moment and I have one pomade that I have yet to open. So next drawer. Okay, I'm coming across to the other side to my blush, bronzers and highlights um, and cream blush, bronzer and highlights. So this is all of the that basically and I don't think I should pull in a powder blush anyway because I have so many pulled in already will I pull in a cream even though I'm panning a cream like this is my Terra 28 one I just got because in my inventory I was going on about it or will I pull in one of these I kind of used the cinched one already one of these three because this is ones I've been going on about hmm maybe I'll pull in one of the MAC ones we have So Natural and we have Blush Please. So Natural, I just got these. So So Natural, which looks beautiful by the way. Looks so beautiful. Or Blush Please. I think I'll roll in this one. We'll roll in this one. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Okay. <sighs> okay, I'm so tired today. So if I'm quiet, I apologize. Um. All right, so that's blush. I have cream blush up here as well. And then I have highlighters. This section here is my highlight. Can you see? I don't know what you could see. Well, just this is highlight and then this is bronzer. So we've got a powder bronzer in. Will I roll in a cream? You know what I should do? I should probably roll in this. So this one here, this tin I got from Elaine and I'm so grateful for it because it's so bloody handy. It's the Makeup Forever tin and this is why it's handy. Look at that. Is that not fantastic? So this is Hula Bronzer and Hula Light and I'm going to roll both of these in to get some use out of them because I actually haven't used it in a while and the light one only works for me right now. So will I roll in a cream one? No, I think I'll organically use the creams. And then for highlighter, highlighter, I think... Like, should I roll in one of these two because they've been driving me insane? Yeah, I think I'll roll in this one here from Dandelions Cosmetics in Moscato. It's very, very soft, this formula, so if I was to pass it along, it would be very difficult because it would shatter. Here it is here. It's very, very powdery. You see? It's just super, super powdery. So I don't know. But then I'm like, should I roll one in a a face palette? No, no, no. We'll roll this in and maybe we'll make some decisions on what we'll do with it. So this is my lip drawer. And I don't know if you can see up here, but I pulled out the entire of this top row, which was 17. Well, the, tire, the entirety of this top row from Colourpop, all of my reds. So I have two red lip glosses and I have, so overall in total, I pulled in 17 lipsticks of red. They're in here and I only have one red lip liner. And so two red lip glosses. So I've yet to use these. So these ones will stay in. And then these. Okay. So these are the ones that I did use and I used them a few times. So if I have any pictures, I'll put them up on the screen. But this one from Tarte um, is extremely dry, but it is a nice, it is a nice color. It's in the shade extra. The only thing is I really require liquid lipsticks for the shades of red because they really move around my face. This is a blue tone red and I like the color and I like that it does not transfer, it does not move, but it is very, very dry. But yeah, I'll put this back because we've used that. This one here, this is from Max in the shade Diva. I think this is gorgeous, but I'm going to declutter it because I've worn it a few times and I just can't get it to stay, even as I'm applying it, not after a few minutes, as I'm applying it, it's slipping around my face and it goes outside of my lip line, even with a red lip liner. And then I put powder to try and cover it. And it's just this, this light pink on my face. It's just not nice. And it's so annoying because it's such a nice shade. But there's no point because am I going to pick that? Am I actually going to pick that up as hard as it is? As nice as the color it is, I look idiotic. So I'm going to declare that. This one here is from... Be perfect. It's in the shade Fast Lane. It has a weird smell off it. I do not like the smell. Yeah, it smells like artificial fruits, like but really, really strong. It reminds me of when I was a teenager. It's a nice color. It transfers a bit, 
and it doesn't set down hugely. It is a nice shade, so this one can go back. Where am I going to put my reds? I think I'll just put the reds here eh? that are liquid lipstick. We have a key. Hello, mommy. Are you going to say hello? The next one here is also for MAC. This is my favorite red and it's in the shade Lady Danger, but I have to declutter this and I've used, I think I've used a, a good bit of it because it's gone. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone off. I'll back to MAC this and then maybe one day, once I use up a few things, I'll use my back to MAC to get this because I really like the color. It does transfer though. That's what I find so hard. It goes around my face, not as much as this one. So we have two being decluttered. And then this is like my curd favorite, which is actually extremely similar to Lady Danger. This is from an ultra satin lip from Colourpop. I cannot pronounce that. Say that there. I got it because of Kathleen Lights. This one transfers, doesn't set down f fully. Does transfer onto glasses, but not so much your face. It is a beautiful orange tone red. This is my now current favorite red and it's gorgeous. You wouldn't really think, oh, it says ultra satin lip. Maybe that's why it doesn't feel like a full um, liquid lipstick. And then this one here, this is in the shade Parachute and it's a matte X from Colourpop. It's beautiful. It's also an orange tone red. It's really, really lovely. I used a little bit of it because I hadn't really used it before. So that can go back. We'll start putting them here. So that means, and the two red lip glosses will stay in until I finish. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lipsticks left to go through. Now, do I want to pull anything in or is that plenty? Because I'll be pulling in a row once this row is gone. But is there like maybe one from here? Oh yeah, actually there is because I want to see what lipstick I'll pan next once I finish the one I'm on. And these are my oldest ones here. Don't really have many old ones anymore. This one's gone down a bit from MAC. Like this one I kind of wear together. It's, this looks really dry on your lips, which is funny. Like are they, this is the magic spell one and it's a cream sheen, but it looks kind of dry on my lips. And what's this one? Satin, but for some reason it looks, shows my lip lines. I think I'll pull these two in as well. And when I get there, I'll get there, you know? Do I have a cloth? to wipe my arm. Now, I think I'll pull that in and for gloss then, do I want to pull in a gloss? Do I want to put that kind of, no, I'm panning. No, I want to give my panning self a good chance. Now, onto eyeshadow. I have two eyeshadow drawers and I think I'm just going to stick to this one at the moment. Um, so Valentine's Day, we got to pick. I should have picked a pink blush for Valentine's Day. Shouldn't I have? I'm going to pick this retro palette from Natasha Denona because I got it in January and I have not, excuse me, used it yet. I have been doing myself the no pan left behind with my eyeshadow palettes and I want to bring this one in. So my eyeshadow palettes that come into this project will be staying in until all of the shades are used. So I'm going to pull this in. I saw, I bought this palette because it was in literally everybody's best of 2021. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, and I do love Natasha Denona's formula. I think it's probably my, f <clears throat> I am not well, <laughs> my favorite eyeshadow formula. Colourpop makes me very excited, but the actual, you know, in terms of actual formula, this one is my favorite. So I'm going to pull this in and see what the story is. No pan left behind it. And then I have one on my desk. That I'm thinking I'll pull in. This is on my desk. This is the Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay one. I love this shade and I know that it's perfect for Valentine's Day. People say that this palette, Beauty Bay shadows are easy to pan, are mattes. I've used this matte shade so many times. Like, look, there's a dip, but I haven't uh, hit pan on it. I'm like, will I pull this in or will I continue no pan left behind on my naughty palette because I've been using this. I love this palette from Huda Beauty. I love this. I think this is just so worth all of the hype that it has gotten. And I haven't finished using every single shade in the year of 2022. I got it before 2022, but I'm my no pan left behind is for this year only. So I've used most of them, but not all of them. Maybe I'll just do that myself. Yeah, I'll do that myself as I'm working through my no pan left behind. And I'll pull this one in because I do, like I used to hate this because I couldn't understand the formula, but I'm start, once I took out the shades that were distracting me the most that weren't working, now I'm happy again. So let me pull it in. I'll pull this in. Okay, let's go up onto the desk. 
here's my panning basket. Can you see my panning basket? Yeah, it's my project panning basket. So for bronzer then, let me just do a little swatcheroo. My arm must be paler than my face because this doesn't show up as much. This is the Hula and the Hula Light. Thank you Elaine for such fantastic packaging. Okay, next is my cream blush in Blush Please from MAC. I think now that I'll... Mm. I think, you know what, I might actually pull in the other one in Cinched. Yeah, I'm going to pull in this one in Cinched instead. Because I think, or totally Cinched. Because I think this one will go better for Valentine's Day. Yeah, it's like this soft bubblegummy pink. Beautiful. So I shall pull this one in instead. So here's the shades here for this Tarte Blush Bazaar palette. Right, then for this Super Shock shadow, or maybe I'll pull in this Moscato one first. Like, it's just not, it's just not great. I wouldn't recommend that. I know, like, we want to help indie brands, everyone, you know, because they're just individual people doing it, but at the same time, it costs money, and that one isn't really worth it. Can you see Mrs. The Fluff interfering? Well, I apologize. So this is set to stun. Can you see all of the glitters in here? It's beautiful. And then this is the Mac Old Gold is what I think it is. God, that's pigmented. Look at that. It's bloody stunning. Yeah, right, Zuli. I can see what she's going to do now. <laughs> He's so old. And then finally, these two lipsticks in terms of base products. So this one's in Magic Spell and this one's in Myth. So the lighter one is Myth and the darker one is Magic Spell. And myth. I usually pair them together. That's why. I... Oh dear. I think for eyeshadows it would just take too long to swatch everything. But this will be the one that I'm kind of focusing on. Because I love that shade. I'll be, my goal is to use every shade in the palette. This one here is a weird formula. Look at that. It's just such a lovely palette, isn't it? And I used to really not like it. I think once I just eliminated the ones that were giving me trouble. Right, these two. And then this baby. Don't think I'll swatch them all. Ooh, it's like a nice toppery shade. What's this one like? Is that a creamy matte? Very, very barely touching it. Can you see that? Stunning. Did I swatch this one here? Okay. So that is everything here. That is everything I'm going to be working on for the next while. I will roll out these two palettes once I have used every single shade and once I've used all of these lipsticks, but this is what I'm going to work on. I think I'm chopping block this particular item. Everything else just to get used, which makes me very happy. Mrs. You want to see Mrs. The Flaw? Can you see her? Hang on. So this is my little baby. Silly. Yeah. So anyway, guys, that was my first shot, my stash of 2022 for Valentine's Day. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you the next time. Take care. Bye.
Thank you.